Okay, this video is uh, about how to detangle natural hair. In another video, I told you I'm not sure what kind of hair I have, whether it's 4A, B, or C, and I actually don't think it really matters that much. It's in the wee hours of the morning, everybody's sleeping, so I'm going to take this time to detangle my hair so I can wash it. I should have done this yesterday, but I decided I wanted one good um, night to sleep without anything on my hair. So, right now I'm getting ready to detangle, and this is my little mixture of uh, olive oil and water. And I pour that on each, spray it on each section as I detangle. Now, my hair is drier than normal because of the way I slept on it yesterday without doing anything to it. I really should have detangled yesterday. But why have natural hair if you can't deviate from your routine now and then? So Julia, I just get a section. Saturate it. Trying for the minimal amount of breakage. And I wish there was some way to tell if I have more or less breakage than other people. I'm just curious about what type of hair I have because I would like to see if I could imitate some of these styles I see other people wearing. But like I said, it probably doesn't really matter. We just need to keep experimenting and find out what works best for you. This is my second year, working on my second year of being natural. I believe all of the perm is out of my hair, except for in the top, even though the hairdresser said that all the perm is out, that hair feels straighter still than the hair on the sides and the back. And like I said, some people say you shouldn't comb through your hair, but I actually really like to comb through my hair. And I can see snags of hair. Yeah. The advice I've seen is to, if you get little snags like that, to clip them off. I find that if I just pull, that extra shedded hair will come out. You see me reaching down there, I have a trash can down there, so I can put the hair in it. Okay. Now, this section. Is detangled. But I work with it a little more because I like the feel of my hair. So manipulating the hair retards growth, then I'll have a problem with growth because why have hair if you can't touch it? And move on. To the next section. And I try to take the easiest sections for me. For some reason, starting over here on my left side works better for me. I don't know why it works better than going to my right side and then doing the back. There's no real reason, it's just that it feels better for me this way. For some reason, my hair seems to grow better on the left side than it does the right side. Now this is extremely dry. 
And I think it's because I, I favor my right side. I lay on my right side when I'm sleeping. Okay. Just get it saturated. Pull it a little. Dodging the moisture through it. And I could do this with just plain water. I just get the feeling I don't want to bother with detangling my hair sometimes. But once you get started and get going, it goes very quickly. This part up here at the top is the part where I still feel like there must be some perm left in it. So it should have all grown out because it's just much straighter than the other hair still. Sometimes when I go get my hair braided in a protective style, I like to do that once in a while because I can't really braid well enough myself. I don't feel that they take the same care with my hair as I do. That's why I try to detangle it before I get to them. Okay, the back is really strong. The back. I have to put in the sections, like I take about a third of it from the top and deal with that. About a third of the top here, and just to make this easier, I'm going to part this in half. have a lot of different grades in my hair all three of them for a B and C because different sections of my hair feel different like I said notice when I comb my start with my ends I do try to work from the ends up, but I do tend to work through that middle part a little bit and just come in from the roots and comb that out. I like to find out if other people have as much shedding of hair as I do. And if that's because I don't know if you can see that, but that's how my hair comes out. And I don't know if it's natural to lose that amount of hair, but I do pull on it and have it come out like that. And you'll see, I'm just beginning my channel, so I will be refining the way I make these videos as I go along, but bear with me while I'm learning. To the back. Favor my right side, so I'm going to start on the left side. Just pull it out a little bit. Then take about a third of it. Let's we'll see. Yeah, it's just easier for me to work in a third of it. I was going to see if I could do it in half to make it quicker, but why am I rushing? I got plenty of time before people start stirring in this house. Problem was working with greasy products. It's olive oil as your hands get greasy. So now it's hard for me to hold the spray bottle. So I've got a napkin here. After I do this part, I'll dry my hands. 
little bit so I can keep going. I wonder why I keep combing after it's detangled. Like I like the feel of it. Like touching your hair? Let me know. So I just feel like once you get your style going, you don't want to touch it because you don't want to mess it up. At least that's where I am right now. Okay. I'm doing this again. Let's see. With these big clips in my hair, it makes it hard to work with it. So let me clip these two together. Okay, now that's a little bit better and what I'm gonna do is just not bother to clip that little bit on the right side because it's too cumbersome to try to get the comb through it with the clip in the way. little webcam set up here so I can't really show you the back of my hair but trust me you can tell by the way my comb is moving that it's detangled put all these parts together I could have if I wasn't so tired I could have done this yesterday and just bobby pin these sections up that wouldn't have been too intrusive for a good night's sleep. And that's the other hard part of being natural for me is I never know exactly how my hair is going to come out. So part of it is just being comfortable with my hair and getting to like myself the way I look with my hair regardless of how it comes out. I think sometimes when we use the word natural, we don't really realize what truly natural means. What's wrong with your hair just going the way it wants to go? Nothing. And the last little section. I should have timed this exactly how long it took. Oh, that just feels so good to comb. But, you see it's detangled, but I'm still getting a lot of fallout. Now the back is totally detangled, so it's the side, but before I take out that side, I'm just going to comb through it again and see how much hair comes out easy my comb is going through my hair. I just caught some of that that it yet and still not as much but I'm still getting hair coming out. So is it that it's just natural to have your hair shedding so much even without the comb. Just putting my hands through it have a lot of shedding. Okay. I don't really feel like getting into the shower right now. So what I'm probably going to do is just put my hair in sections. Look how much hair came out. Unbelievable. Try it one more time. You see? It's totally detangled. So that's it. That's the detangling process. And I'll be back to show you what I do.
after I shampoo. So, thank you for watching, and I'll be back to you later.